Hi. Today we're talking to Angela Dinio and Josh Sykes, activists with the National Committee to Free Ricardo Palmera, about recent censorship by Facebook. Angela, who is Ricardo Palmera? Ricardo Palmera is a political prisoner being held here in the United States. He's a member of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia and he was a peace negotiator for them. He was extradited here to the United States in 2004 when he was trying to have, um, lead a peace negotiation between a UN official in Ecuador and was brought here to the United States and put on trial um, and went through the series of just trumped up trials. There was four of them. It was um, it was it was pretty incredible to watch um, just the 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 way that these trials were presented and we think that there was a lot of problems around those trials. But um, but what came out of those trials is that Mr. Palmera has been placed in this supermax prison for the next 60 years of his life. And, uh, and we believe that his, his treatment while in prison is, is inappropriate. We think that a lot of the things that he's having to put up with while he's there are wrong. And, um, and so we believe that him being in the United States is a violation of the sovereignty of Colombia. And we believe that he should be freed and he should be returned to Colombia. And we started a face group, Facebook group surrounding that particular issue. So Josh, uh, tell us about the Free Ricardo Palmera Facebook group and what happened. Um, well, the Facebook group was a resource that uh, the National Committee to Free Ricardo Palmera used to get out the word uh, about the case and everything that was happening with it. Uh, it was administered by three activists with the National Committee, myself, Angela Denio, and Tom Burke. Um, you know, we, we used the Facebook group to, to, like I said, get out the word what was happening and, and alert people as, as the case developed. Um, so on uh, June 30th, Facebook shut it down. Their reason they gave was it violated the terms of use, it was hateful, obscene, all this stuff, and, and it wasn't any of those things. It was, uh, it was a group that existed to fight for justice for a political prisoner, for a, a, a man who had done nothing wrong and who was a, who was a real freedom fighter in every sense of the term. Um, so uh, following that on uh, July 7th, uh, the three administrators' accounts uh, were also shut down by Facebook with no warning or excuse given. Uh, while there's an appeals process, uh, we're asking people to join the Facebook group uh, to protest it um, and reinstate our accounts and reinstate the Free Recovery Plan group. And we're asking people to call Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg at 650-543-4800 and uh, demand that uh, our accounts uh, with Facebook and the Free Recovery of America group be reinstated, that Zuckerberg and Facebook not take the side of death squads in the State Department in this issue, but, but allow Facebook to serve a, a purpose for organizers and, and stand up for free speech.